Let's clap for men of God. Thank you, sir. So honored. Thank you. Can we lift our hands to the Lord? I want to tell you something about Kenya. Kenya is rising now. I'd say from um, the year 2021, the Lord began to speak about a new movement that would happen here. And a great outpouring. Can we lift our hands? A great outpouring, a breakthrough. And at the time when I said it, I was at the nation center. The city was pretty spiritually dead. It had been under, undergone a lot of attack. And then, you know, there's a lot of corruption and issues that God has to deal with, even in the church, not just in the world, you know, and all these things. And I began to feel a breakthrough fire coming. And it's not the first time it happened. It happened in 2000. In the year 2000, I was speaking at the KICC uh, Convention Center when it was called Canu Headquarters. And uh, we had a standing room only crowd of about six or 7,000 people inside and uh, thousands of people were outside that couldn't get in. And the Lord had me begin to prophesy of a change in Kenya. Then in 2002, um, Mwai Kibaki becoming the president and all the developments that would happen. Then 2007, again, we came again and all these uh, road developments, the Thika Superhighway. Come on, lift our hands. Let's lift our hands and thank God for that. And the new expressway now. And also the SGR train lines across the country. Even now going across East Africa. Beginning to. The Lord spoke about all these things in detail. And, uh, but, but I felt from 2021, there was uh, a real deadness in the atmosphere in a lot of ways. Like, you know, some churches were doing very well. Like my friend, Archbishop Harrison Nanga, he's a real man of God. He carries the power of God, the presence of God. And he's always, he's been flowing. He's been doing it a long time also. And some other men of God, I don't have time to name all the names, doing great works. But generally speaking, there was a deadness in the air. And the Lord said, I'm invading Nairobi, Kenya with a new movement from heaven. And new things are going to begin to happen and the power of God is going to begin to go across the land and the society. And I want to tell you, that thing did not manifest so readily, so quickly. A year later, I looked back and thought, I don't really see that it's happened to the degree we want to see. But something happened in this last year to fulfill that prophecy. In the year 2023, the Lord began to speak about, uh, you know, people coming together and all these new movements, conferences begin to come and things begin to, begin to happen. We saw uh, many servants of God coming here and not just because of that, but, but we saw the spirit of God begin to bring unity, you know? I love Psalm 133 that says, where there's unity, I command my blessing there. And the Bible says where there's strife, there's division and confusion and every evil work. And I've seen people, they want to tear each other down. Lift your hands. That ought not to be named in the church of Jesus Christ. We need to be lovers of the brethren. You know, John 13, 32, 33 in there said, we need to uh, follow the commandment. Jesus said, a new commandment I give you that you'll love one another. John 8, 31 says, if you continue in my word, then you're my, dis my disciples indeed. Jesus said somewhere else, he said, by this you'll know that you're my disciples, that you have love one for another. This individualism, this, you, this, uh, this spirit of individualism, it's about me and mine, and I want to hate the other guy that's doing better than me, and competition and all this nonsense, it needs to stop in Jesus' name. I speak as God's prophet. Come on, clap your hands if you're going to do it. Do it right. Whoa, someone shout, Woo! God is going to do a new thing. And I saw where God began to, you know, the, the revival that we talked about and prayed for for years. Let me prophesy to you. It's here already. It's moving in Nairobi. It's moving across the land. It's happening, my friends. It's happening. It's happening. And the day is coming for mega churches to be born in Kenya to grow, to out, to break out of every side. When God, God has had me prophesy, I'll see a man in the midst of, of leaders, of pastors, and God will have me connect with someone who says, you're one of the ones that God's calling to raise up a mega church here. I want to tell you, there's going to be churches with 10,000 seats in them and 20,000 seats in them in the nation of Kenya, and more than that. 
Let me start there. I don't want to say 100,000 like Dr. Paul Enenche in Abuja. 100,000 people can sit inside his church. Lift your hand and say, can it happen in Kenya? Or oh, if God can find the man. If God can find the man and his wife like he found there. The realm of consecration, we were talking about this in the office, consecration and holiness and self-sacrifice and denying yourself to become a vessel of the, of the Holy Spirit is the biggest fight you'll ever have in your life. To fight your flesh and to fight the devil and even to fight your good fight of faith. And, to, and, and then to say, Lord, I want to depart. Take me over. Here's Thomas. Here I am. Take Thomas away. And Lord, you come and possess me. And this is how the anointing will come to people. Lift your hands right now. I want to charge the people in this room that are gifted. People watching us online here that you're going to hear this message somehow. You're gifted. You're talented. By your touch and call by the hand of God. And there's something great he's going to do in and through you. But we want to have the personal revival. The personal touch. Lift your hands. Father, let your presence fall. As your servant is coming to speak, we thank you that this meeting tonight will be historic. For the city, for the region, for the area, for the people here, for the people watching. We thank you, Lord, for your uh, utterance in the Holy Ghost, that you will speak through us. It's not about us, it's about you and your purpose. Father, we thank you for Mama here, the, the, the bishop. We thank you, Lord, for the favor of new things and more people, more expansion in the work. So many things I see just, I see a lot of promotion and a lot of elevation, a lot of activity, a lot of amplification of your ministry, a lot of greater influence and greater impact to other places. The Lord's going to really begin to, it's a season of elevation. And I'm seeing that to the people that have the, the pure heart before God, people that are really flowing in what he's ordained and giving themselves to him. Favor comes, Luke 2.52, Jesus grew in stature and wisdom and then with favor, in favor with God and man. Why? Because he went through the process. Ephesians 4.11 said, I gave some apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, for the perfecting of the saints, that we no longer be like children, but we get raised up into the stature of the fullness of Christ. This is the work of the ministry, to raise sons and daughters, disciples, people, to make future leaders. And I want to tell you, God is doing that in this land. One more thing. One more thing. Here it is. You get, re get ready for this. This is powerful what I'm going to say right now. Lift your hands. Are you ready? Are you ready? The Lord said to me that Nairobi, Kenya will become the New York City of Africa. Go ahead and shout. It's all right. Someone said, "Woo!" This is the place. You see the development that's happening here. I don't know of any other city. I think of the other cities in East Africa, the other, many of the other cities across the African continent. Is there one like Nairobi? God has great plans for here. But at the same time, he wants to raise up holy, righteous sons and daughters that are going to carry the power of God to, the, to this nation and then to the nations of the world. Someone called it years ago the springboard of revival. I believe that. There's something, this is an apostolic center. This is a hub. This is a place in Africa. In South Africa, Apostle, I heard the Lord say, I have so many words for South Africa, but one thing, the strongest thing I felt I wanted to say in one sentence, that God's going to raise up, God is going to raise up mighty warriors who won't even fear for their lives. They're going to get so possessed by heaven that they're going to go and cause reformation, transformation, even revolution in the nation to break the systems that are even of corruption, even the political degradation, all these, these things going on, that there's going to be a true move of God in that nation. An apostle gift for Zambia, I heard the Lord say, Zambia has been covered over by like a cloud. It's been in, like in, an obscu in obscurity for a long time. But the Lord says, I'm going to remove the veil. And I'm going to, I saw Zambia like, like, being, like being lifted up and the name Zambia having international prominence because it is a great nation 
And I want to tell you, this is already happening for Kenya. So I'm going to clap your hands to Jesus. This is a great place where you are right now. I know you look around a lot of places, you see a lot of poverty and despair and all kinds of mess. But how many know God wants to revitalize that? How many know God wants to reform that? How many God wants to, God wants to transform that? And you need to walk in wealth. You need to walk in blessing. You need to have a lot of money. Let me say it as God prophet. God's prophet. I'm not scared of the word. Money and treasures and word. Lift money and treasures and wealth. Lift your hands right now. I'm going to drop this mic because I got to go. But the Lord says, the Lord says, I'm going to bless my people. I'm going to teach you how to do business. Amen. I'm going to prosper you. I'm going to get you into the flow. And I'm going to cause this to happen. Put it on the screen, Deuteronomy 8.18. I am the Lord your God who gives you power to get wealth. To do what? To make, manage, and multiply money. To make, manage, and multiply resources. To have avenues of revenues, creative abilities to cause prosperity to come. And it starts in your mind, like Proverbs 23.7 says, that Proverbs 23.7 says, as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. And you can never lie, rise above the level of you. What's happening inside of you? Let your life and your mind become a deep well. Distance yourself. Let me help you. Distance yourself from people that are corrupt. Distance yourself from people that are leading you nowhere. Take your, take your company away from people that are wasting your time and wasting God's precious time. And dive into the call of God. Self-educate. Amen. Go online. Read. Study. Elevate yourself. Come up to a place and now when you walk somewhere, you're not like everybody else. Uniqueness is your greatness, not your similarity to another. And God wants to raise people up now to be very different and unique. Don't try to be like everybody else. You're, you're displeasing God. Be unique, talk different, think different, speak different, carry yourself differently. When you walk into a room, they say, ah, the prince has arrived. The ambassador has arrived. The, sta the world statesman has arrived. The king has arrived. He's the king of kings and the lord of lords. That means we're kings and lords. He's even the god of gods. Small g, Psalm 82, and Jesus also said it. Don't you know that ye are gods? Lift your hands. Now this is like this, the spirit of God that, 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 that is, is God himself is living in us. So where is his expression? Through us. Lift your hands, I want to pray right now. Father, release the touch of heaven upon every person. As they've heard these words from you, you, you they will not remain the same from today. In Jesus' name, arrange great things for them. Starting tonight, starting tomorrow, let things go into motion for their destiny and raise them up to be great people, great people right here in the city of Nairobi, in the name of Jesus. God has treasures for us that we haven't even seen yet, but those are coming to us. They're coming. They're coming. Pray in the spirit one minute right now. And say, Lord, be it unto me according to thy will. You know, 1 John 5, 14 and 15 says, when you ask according to his will, he'll give it to you. We want his perfect will. We don't want to ask God to help us all the time. Help me, help me, help me. God says, ah, it's boring. What are you doing for me? What are you doing for me? How much do you care about my purpose? When you get into what I'm into, you'll see my blessings. And that's where God's going to lead you. How many believe that? How many receive that? All right. I am Thomas Manton IV. I'm not done, but I got to get out of here. Uh, God, the Holy Ghost, you know. Uh, uh, I'm Thomas Manton IV. My website is thomasmanton.com. T-H-O-M-A-S-M-A-N-T-O-N.com. And all of our social media channels and everything are there. The Lord bless you. How many thank God for mom? Can we give the Lord another praise? for? Give God a praise. Come on for her. Or else we wouldn't be here without you, Mom. You, you made this happen. And Apostle Lewis, let's give the Lord a hand of praise for this great servant of God. Wow. All the way from South Africa. And the main event tonight, the Apostle from Lusaka, Zambia. 
He's coming after me. I, I, I bless God for him. I love you, man. Let's blow, blow me a kiss, will you? Thank you. Let's blow Jesus one. Ah, Rose of Sharon, we love you. Apostle.